Namaste students. I am Jayvind Dr. Aziz Mohan Khan from Department of Food and Biotechnology, Faculty of Agriculture and Veterinary Science, Jyoti Vidya Pitwam in Sanskrit Chapel. Today, I am going to discuss about the topic mucosal immunity. But the uh, immunity in the mucus. So, in the previous video, I discussed a lot of uh, lectures and uh, this lecture belongs to the principles of immunology in the Department of Food and Biotech Medicine, BTEC FT 4th semester. What is special about the mucosal immunity? So, let's understand that so many kinds of pathogens enter in the body via the mucus surface. Mucus surface is the outer covering of the different types of tissue. So, many pathogens enter the body by mucus surfaces and local immunity such as uh, IgA, IgC, and cellular immunity, immunity is an important first line of defense versus pathogens and mucosal immunity may be able to provide uh, sterilizing immunity and like uh, it may be for the influenza particularly it is used for the pathogens that evade subsequent immune clearance. Some problems can arise in the mucosal immunity. Most mucus responses are often short lived, means they have not a longer life. They are short lived. And uh, systematic immunization is generally considered for a term used local immunity. Mucosal adjuvant and delivery studies are less developed than parental approaches. And, uh, Combined route of studies have been under explored in the human studies. And then, if we talk about the mucosal immunity, uh, some mucosal antibodies are there which have important role in the neutralization, aggregation, mucus penetration, uh, epithelial interactions, uh, transcytosis, uh, trans and antibody dependent cellular hypertoxicity. Have important role in the FC inhibition also. So some these mucosal antibody have important roles identify some pathogens inside the mucus membrane and the mucus. Mucosal cellular response is also important, like uh, antibody, and the rapid elimination of the initial focus of infection, preventing the secondary dissemination typically require high number of factor and effective memory cells so that they can they will remember the pathogens in very well they must know the pathogens very well so that they can identify the pathogens in the mucus area and uh, they have they will identify the pathogens and when the first time the pathogen is administered they will store it in the memory and then it will enter the second time they will uh, cause their death in salt area. Some polymeric, polymeric immunoglobulins are also there, which have which provide the receptor mediated secretion of the antibodies. And uh, some neonatal FC receptor are also present on the uh, which provide immunoglobulin mediated secretion of the antibodies, which are pH independent. Similarly, uh, protection of mucosal surface by secretory immunoglobulins is also by the, uh, by the immune exclusion, intracellular neutralization, and antigen excretion. Some cells uh, which are involved in the tiny tissues, such as the, in the small intestine, and uh, like uh, they, are, they are in the colon mammary glands some uh, respiratory tracts, urinary tract and salivary glands. So these are the parts of the mucus immunity where the immunity can, can be provided by the immune cells and some inflammatory cells uh, and some bone marrow, uh, they, some of them can be fired in the bone marrow. So these are the targets of the antibodies and these, these are the targets of the antigens now where they can cause disease 
and they can also cause disease in the skin which are it's also a target so on small intestine colon mammary gland respiratory tract inflammatory sites bone marrow and skin are the target of the antigens are target of the pathogens where they can cause disease in the small intestine some iga will cause uh, destruction of the antigens mobility g and t size which can cause say mediated uh, cytotoxicity some rodents and domestic animals considerably express dimeric ig in the systematic part compartments of the mucous part and induction of uh, ig in any compartment will lead to the expression of any distal compartment expressing different kinds of uh, proteins in humans systematic ig is predominantly monomeric and prolonged in the bone marrow and cannot interact with the another molecules and binding of some immunoglobulins is strong to the antigens and it is weak in their rodents so in the in uh, mucus there are different cellular organs such like the vaginal and the nasal immunization so these are the also infected parts which in which immunization induced cholera reaction such specific uh, cervical responses after the vaginal immunization so these are all are the parts where the pathogens are pathogens cause infections and these are the parts of the mucus so these some responses systematic uh, Substance mucosal responses are also there, such as proteins, which are the mucosal delivery strategies for infections. Protein and adjuvants, repeating boosting proteins are also there. Some vectors such as pro, uh, mucosal uh, trop tropism, replicating mucosal vectors, those are of immunization is also important. Which route is optimal for the mucosal surface? Heterologous routes is also important for the infections. Prime boost, prime fill. so these also are important then there are some uh, live alternative vectors also uh, uh, which can also have important role in the mucosal immunity uh, the antigen and delivery as a recombination in live vector mimics natural injections and which will make you rise to strong productive immunity some vectors such as bacteria viruses are also included the uh, replicating vectors enhance immune response and induce strong cellular response and antibodies which may provide sustained mucosal immunity so these all are the part of the mucosal immunity uh, in which i explain the what is the immune uh, mucosal immunity what are the part of the mucosal immunity and uh, what are the antigens of the mucosal immunity which are the targets for, for the pathogens so these are all are explained and what kind of questions can be asked here explain mucosal immunity explain the types of the antigens which are involved in the mucosal immunity so my lectures over here uh, you can ask me questions thank you very much